system platform for beginners. Now, not necessarily beginners in software, but beginners with system platform. Um, so who am I? I'm Rob Kambach. Um, I am a part of product management team at OneAware. Um, I'm responsible for application server and system platform. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, we also have a LinkedIn group if you would like to join that HMI SCADA app server. Um, you can search for it and become a member. Um, today we're going to talk about a couple of things. Um, most importantly we're going to talk about how in touch to system platform is not a replacement but a evolution. Um, and that is very different. So it's uh, evolving into a uh, system platform from InTouch. So what is system platform? Well, it has core components. Um, today we're going to talk about the visualization part, but it also has different components. The different components are application server, um, responsible for executing your and hosting your applications, historian, to store data, process data, um, information server, um, to have a web portal into the system, device integration products, um, DA servers, um, things like that that connect to the outside world. Um, what is that outside world? Well, that can be third-party resources, software applications, or third-party controllers. Um, also on top, OneWare clients. So these OneWare clients is InTouch, for example. Um, InTouch for visualization, historian client for analysis, information server, a web reporting client. So um, different components make up OneWare system platform. Let's start at the beginning. You're on InTouch today, and what the agenda is for today is we want to install a Kestrel system platform on a clean operating system, create a project galaxy, um, import your InTouch application, publish your InTouch application, and deploy it. Um, so those three things we're going to show you uh, today how to do. Common misconceptions are that you need system platform to use Orchestra Graphics or a full install of system platform, which means a full install of SQL Server, Server OS, um, all those type of things. And the answer is no, you don't need that. You can install this on a client OS um, with one DVD. Uh, since the 2012 release, we have uh, one DVD that replaced all our product DVDs and that you can run um, and basically have a, a role-based install. So if you choose the role-based install, you can actually um, just install the components needed for the client OS and you don't need any additional software, just that one DVD. Um, so we're going to go over what standalone InTouch is, what you have today, which is, which you know, is managed by the application server, window maker, and window viewer, and um, NAT for distributed, distributed applications. So we're going to go into the install now, and then uh, once we get through the install, uh, we'll come back to a couple of slides, but most of it will be uh, demo. Um, so let's start with the um, install. All right, so the installation, uh, step one. Um, now of course, we don't want to have that DOS screen, but that was just a gimmick. Um, first of all, the DVD, the 2012 uh, R2 DVD, uh, started up, product base selection, and then Wonderware InTouch R2 um, runtime and development. And that's all you need to check off. So next, English, next. Um, this is somewhat accelerated because, of course, I don't, want you to look at a uh, progress bar for minutes, uh, so we're skipping a, a couple of it. Um, so SQL Server Express gets installed um, and then our software, uh, once that is done, I'm rebooting and uh, now I have the application manager. Um, so I can open that, I see the demo application, I have a new icon here, that is the IDE. Next step would be to create a galaxy. Um, creating a galaxy is um, through the IDE. So let's see how that goes. There we have our IDE button. Click on it and we'll basically say um, create a new Galaxy uh, called uh, My InTouch app. And once that is um, uh, created, we're going to open this up in the IDE 
and import our InTouch application. So the first part first, and that is basically connect to it uh, once it's created, and it will open up the IDE. So in here, um, once landed, we have um, different panes. Um, I'm closing three off, deployment, the model, and derivation view. All we need is the template toolbox and what has the InTouch View app, View Engine, and Windows platform. Uh, and then, of course, a uh, pane with all the orchestra graphics. Uh, the orchestra graphics um, are available in, in, once you are uh, in the IDE. And now we're going to go and import our application. So we're creating a new view app from uh, the template. Uh, and that view app, we're going to just simply uh, import the um, reactor demo, um, the old reactor demo uh, that came with InTouch originally. Import existing InTouch application, um, press next. Um, I'm going to browse to the desktop where it is. Um, that's where I placed it, hit OK, um, and then basically uh, open it up. So once it's opened up, we can go to runtime and see if everything works. Um, and once everything is working, then basically we have uh, managed to a, to create a uh, application within the IDE, imported it into a view app, uh, and now we have a view app. Now we can manipulate that. This shows that you now have uh, access to orchestra graphics and brings up the orchestra graphic browser inside of InTouch uh, integrated. Uh, so you can use the orchestra graphics here uh, throughout your InTouch application. The next part would be to publish your InTouch application. So basically, um, taking your app and uh, publishing it from the IDE. Um, so basically, you select your application, uh, choose publish, and the location where you want to have it. And you basically, um, in my case, I create a directory with, which is called my InTouch app. Select that directory and publish my app. So what that will do, that can be to a USB stick or external drive, then you can take that to another node, uh, put it on an InTouch view node, and then basically read it in. You have your published application, including all your orchestra graphics that you uh, have used. Um, so here you basically, um, in, within the um, uh, application manager, you can now find it. So we're going to look for it. These are all the managed applications, the three reactor demos. Uh, find the application, go to my subdirectory, it browses the, the underlying directories, and there's the demo app. Um, and this is how that was published. So the next one is uh, a deploy operation. And no, you don't want to throw your grandmother out of a 7C17 like those guys, but deploying an InTouch view app. Um, so how does that work? It's basically, a Windows platform, a new instance. And it creates a new Windows uh, platform instance, which is just a um, platform that hosts the application. Um, with that, we also want to deploy a uh, view engine, uh, which is basically hosting uh, our view app. So you need three things. Platform, that's just for the um, um, machine. And then the engine to execute uh, the application, um, put it on there and then the uh, demo app. Um, so we're putting those three um, in the um, uh, in that order and drag and drop them on top of each other. So now we have a platform engine and a view app. That's all you need to deploy to a remote node. Um, on that remote node, you would have to install the uh, InTouch runtime components from the DVD that will automatically install all the components needed to make this work. So um, then the uh, deploy, uh, once that is finished, we'll go to the application manager and show that the uh, deployed app now uh, shows up there. Um, so it's deployed. We're going to the application manager. And as you can see there, we have a uh, published, managed, and a standalone application. So published, I showed earlier. Now we also have a managed application, which is right there. It has a little... Um, IDE icon in there uh, to indicate that it's, it's managed from the IDE. You cannot edit it here. You can only go to view mode. Um, so you edit it within the IDE. Um, once it's started, you can basically want to demonstrate 
that if you open it up and change something and close it back off, it basically flags it for um, deployment, which means the application has changed. So this also replaces NAT, um, where we can basically deploy to multiple nodes and, um, and maintain our application from here. And of course, the IDE is not limited to just um, one in-touch application. It can have many, many in-touch um, template apps and many, many in-touch platforms that you can deploy to. So it's a project management environment for your in-touch applications. Um, and in addition, you can do now orchestra graphics uh, once you are on that platform. Uh, we will go in later sessions into details what uh, orchestra graphics are. Um, so to recap, this whole session is basically you have learned how to install an uh, in-touch development runtime on a client OS, including the IDE, integrated development environment. We started the IDE, created a Galaxy repository, we created an in-touch template, implanted, imported our in-touch application, we saw in-touch development that we have a cast, uh, access to orchestral graphics, we published our application and we deployed it. And that's it. Thank you very much. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>